Now the pandemic is long behind us, but obviously it's a very powerful selling strategy even nowadays. Tell me about the, the challenges, uh, the, the learning curve that you hel- um, had when you were building the solution. Yeah, well, it was. it's interesting because, you know, I'm inside Shopify. The world is very different. You're focused on solving problems a specific way where, where it's, you know, solving them in, you know, the UI for merchants or building APIs and making it possible for partners to use them. And so now I've I switched over to being a partner and using the the tools that I helped build and getting frustrated by the limitations I set upon myself <laughs> um, after the fact. And so like that was a huge um huge learning curve, you know, when we first started getting into it, obviously trying to refresh my memory on everything that is payments um that we built out. And, um, and then on top of that, it was just, you know, the process of getting approved, the process of starting from zero and, you know, thinking through the way, the best way to build the app and the best way to, um, build it quality. And I really didn't want to cut corners, build hacks, you know, didn't want it to just really, uh, evolve it organically and, uh, you know, build it to make it feel like Shopify, but it was it was challenging um, getting approved, making sure that everything you know we dotted the i's, crossed the t's, right? Um, it was a very different experience than just having everyone to talk to inside Shopify, you know, and e- easy ways to get help and get unblocked. Um, but the journey was absolutely worth it. It's been I think a year and a half now since we we started working on it, and we only launched last July. So it's uh, yeah, it's quite quite a long path. I think. The area that your solution works very well in is for customized products. I, I think you uh, to, 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 um, told me before that you found out that deposits and partial payments are actually a huge part of the business outside there in the world. And there was not really a solution for it. Tell me who is using it and what did you learn about the usage itself? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean... You know, I'm sure you've purchased furniture, Uh, you know, you go into a store and you not only have financing options, but you have the option of leaving a deposit and waiting for the product, especially when you pick your fabric type and color and all these things. And it's no different shopping online. You know, Shopify has a ton of homeware stores, lots of furniture stores. And a lot of them want to offer this option of customization. Like, of course, I want it to be in a fabric type that I like. I don't want to just pick something and, you know, commit to it. Um, You know, personalization is the name of the game when it comes to furniture, uh, when it comes to like bespoke jewelry, you know, think engagement rings, think, you know, really customized things. And, um, And so like that was, we first thought that it was going to be all about pre-orders, engaging demand. And, you know, of course we do support that and we do work with customers that are launching products all the time. But the big impact was these merchants coming to us and saying, like, I have an eight to 12 week build time and I charge, you know, three, $4,000 on, on this couch or these products. Um, I have no way to partially collect without ruining my accounting, because the only way was to kind of duplicate orders, create draft orders, you know, 50% discounts, like all these crazy, you know, hacks were were available. And so you had that and these customer, these merchants were super frustrated that there was no way to do a simple selling strategy that's existed for decades in brick and mortar. So it was a huge, you know, very like, logical thing that once we've we enabled it it was like well it was a no-brainer that they got more sales they got people who you know didn't have to overextend themselves to try to pay for these things or take on financing and and pay a, a really high interest rate on those products so that was a shock to us and you know that's kind of like the niche that we really want to focus on and and just make sure that we're we're available for those kinds of uh, purchases um especially as you know Purse strings get tighter, things are more expensive, you know, and and people struggle to kind of, you know, pay things off. So yeah, it's it's been it's been really cool seeing a bunch of different furniture across the world come on and, you know, use <laughs> use deposits for it. So 